Let's take a look at the number of valence electrons for gold. That's AU. So gold is a transition metal. Gold is right here. For these main group elements, we have group one. All of these have one valence electron. Group two, they have two valence electrons. We skip the transition metals. Group three has three and so on. But for gold here with the transition metals, a bit more complicated. So we'll start with the electron configuration for gold. It's a little bit involved. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of this video showing you how to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to condense this. So we have xenon. That's the noble gas before gold. It has 54 total electrons. So let's take and replace this with xenon. And then we'll make it a little bigger and move it to the middle. So you might think that we have this 6s1 here and that we just have one valence electron. But gold's a pretty big atom, so it doesn't exactly follow that. One definition of valence electrons for transition metals, a valence electrons for a transition metal, it's an electron that resides outside that noble gas core. So these electrons here, you could consider them to be valence electrons. In reality, gold will often form ions that are 1 plus, 2 plus, and 3 plus. So just saying that we have one valence electron because of this 6s1, it doesn't work because gold's a much bigger atom. So it might be safest to go with this definition here that it's the electrons, valence electrons are outside the noble gas core, and that you could call these valence electrons. So as we get these transition metals that are larger, it gets a little more complicated to figure out valence electrons. This is Dr. B with the valence electrons for AU, gold. Thanks for watching.